Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. Starting off with an absolute classic of a build, we'll be reviving Aegis Scepter and Mantle Battle Harmony once more for that easy Mr. Freeze build that everyone loves. No matter the season or year we are in, this build has always been a masterclass with slowing and freezing targets on the get-go, while also granting us damage and super increasement all at the same time. And I'm going to show you how to maximize it with this seasonal mods included. So start with the general aim and the Zotic of the build. Our aim is to showcase a nice and easy stasis build that everyone at home can do quite easily while also showing you how it can proc frost armor at a near 100% rate. For this we will be using Aegis Scepter and Mantle Battle Harmony Exotics. Starting with our exotic armor, Mantle Battle Harmony, with its exotic effect, Absorption Cells, it states, A final blows with weapons matching your equipped super damage type grants you super energy. When your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that type. One of the best all-rounder exotic armors to have for a simple design, Mantle Battle Harmony can pretty much make any elemental build godly in a matter of seconds with the kills you get. With this, we can get around a 1.5% to 4.5% super energy regen depending on enemy type, and at max super, we get a times 4 weapon buff for the given elemental weapon. Now that's pretty sweet, as there's nothing convoluted needed to achieve this, hence why pairing this up with Aegis Scepter or any stasis weapon that has a good ammo economy is where the build will best play at. Our second exotic is Aegis Scepter, with his exotic effect, Aegis Cool, which states, A final blows with his weapon generates a slowing burst around the defeated target. Aegis on his own, or with Mantle Battle Harmony, is still elite either way you look at it. This weapon allows users to slow and freeze targets without the need of our subclass in play, which is handy if you need a weapon for ad clearing and protecting key areas in game. Using this with Mantle Battle Harmony is a no-brainer because of the synergy they both provide to each other, but at the same time it also works out well for the overall subclass traits we have selected that ultimately comes back to how Aegis is used. Now if you don't have Aegis, then any stasis weapon is fine to use here, unless you want something exotic. If that is the case, then Wicked Implement and, don't laugh, Cryophysia are two exotics that pair well with the kit as well. For Aspects and Fragments, we then have the following. Glacier Harvest, where freezing targets create status shards around the frozen target. Picking up shards will grant you Frost Armor and melee energy. Ice Flare Bolts, where shattering a frozen target spawns Seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. Whispers of Durance, where your slow ability that you apply to targets is extended. Whispers of Fissures, which will increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or frozen target. Whispers of Rhyme, where your frost armor has increased duration and maximum stack count. And lastly, Whispers of Conduction, where stasis shards will track to you. With the current fee provided, it's going to be best to invest in frost armor and improve duration for ice symbol kit as shown. A Frost Armor is a newly added buff that grants damage reduction as we play, and while Glacier Harvest can produce this as many times as we like, we also have Wind Chill on hand if you decide a Trace Rifle isn't good enough. This is also backed up with Armor of Ramis that will slow and damage targets around us if we reach critical health. Now since Frost Armor is easy to build on, and having Whispers of Durance, Fissures and Conduction are the next best step to go forward on when using Aegis Scepter or any weapon overall, the extra slow effect, increased shatter damage, and ability to gather shards quickly all play within the strengths of the build, which allows us to destroy enemies in a matter of seconds without a drop of sweat. Honestly, since this kit is quite basic in its premise, switching stasis weapons around is feasible as long as you have a weapon with headstone on it. This is important to note as you may not have the exotic weapon a lot, but may have the rest of the kit there and waiting. Now onto the mods and stats, we have both resilience and discipline marked with the highest priorities for the build, with intellect not required or focus because of the exotic armor in hand. Resilience we have ours at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction, I have removed the elemental and because of that in the mods and will instead use the frost armor mechanic built into the build. These are easy to proc with Glacier Harvest, and combining this with Whisper of Rhyme and Conduction allows us to have this on constantly wherever we go. A discipline, we have ours at tier 10 for a 46 second cooldown via dust filled grenades. While glaciers will be good for creating status shards as well, 
A dust field is better for its cooldown and wide area of control it has when encapsulating a large amount of enemies. I advise you to do the same, although keep glaciers in mind as they can be handy for inflicting high damage in groups of mixed tier enemies. Since cooldown isn't a huge issue here, you can now invest into other areas as shown. Impact induction times 2 for a 17% grenade buff, momentum transfer for a 12% mini buff, absolution for a 4% all ability cooldown for all the power collection, and distribution times 2 for a 6% all ability buff will cover the key areas the build is needed. For the additional mods, we then have the following Harmonic Siphon for creating orbs of power via matching elemental type, Heavy Ammo Finder, Reserves, and Scavenger mods for a heavy weapon. A special ammo finder for a special weapon. A stasis holder mod for automatically reloading our stasis weapons when stowed away. And special finisher mod for allowing us to get special ammo via finishers, if you need it. Onto the weapons. As we have covered our exotic secondary weapon, I will then advise you to pick some super weapons for the build. What I recommend are all optional, so please do keep this in mind. Our primary is the Aquilos SMG with Dynamic Sway Reduction and Devilishness. I chose this to cover two things, Quick Access and Covering Grenade Regen. The Quick Access section is due to me using a Trace Rifle that can run out of ammo quite fast even with the support mods in tow. Having a SMG covers the core weakness of using a Trace Rifle while also being strong enough to be used in fights. A Demolitionist is going to help me with grenade cooldown even though my grenade cooldowns are already quite high. Having this either way will allow me to make use of the dustfield grenades which in turn will activate Glacier Harvest long term effects. I recommend you follow Steed and pick an SMG that best fits your playstyle for generally whatever you're running with. Heavy, we have the Dimensional Hypertroid, I believe that's how you say it, grenade launcher with field prep and chain reaction. This has slowly become the go-to weapon to use in the new dungeon for the second boss encounter and has shown quite a large resurgence of its use since this given period. My version is designed for adds and ultra enemies, since using this with Cacusa Reload Seasonal Mod and Mantle Battle Harmony provides a large damage boost that is incredibly noticeable on hand. This can be crafted, but if you don't want to wait, then the Typhon GL5 is a simple good alternative to get instead. Now, when it comes to covering classical builds, this one takes the cake. I mean, what else would you want from a build that can slow, freeze, get a times 4 damage buff with ease? A fast grenade cooldown, times 8 frost armor, and rapid super regen, all in what? Under a minute. Aegis Scepter Mantle Battle Harmony uses has always been a popular combo with how simple and powerful the two are in Twindom. Since the season is solely focused on stasis this time round, it's honestly the perfect build to equip for many, many seasonal mods available that will grant you a whole host of buffs for little energy in return. And funny enough, even without the seasonal mods added to the build, the build can work out just fine with its aspect and fragments alone, and that there will show you how easy of a build that is for even a new player involved. Don't believe me? Uh, take a look at the clip shown and see how I'm able to clear up enemies and stay tanky doing so. Little investments are needed to keep this build going, and honestly that's how most exotic combos and build setups should generally be at times. Now of course there isn't really much to cover for the build because it's pretty damn simple to understand and use. But whether you choose Stasis, Solar, Strand, Void or even Arc, as long as you have a matching Trace Rifle that triggers Mantle Battle Harmony as a trait, this build can take you anywhere you like. But for now, Stasis, the combo is, and always will be, the king of absolute destruction when the two exotics are combined. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below while if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos then leave a like and a sub while you're here. A dim link for the build is located below in the pinned section and I do advise you to check out my playlist for more. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.